Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. Wow, we are gonna have some fun today. We got something in this box. I just, I had to call this one in. I could not let it pass up. Uh, I don't know if it's a watch for everybody, but it's gotta be a watch for somebody. Called Mobile Watch. Whoa, what is this? Wow, that looks like an alien badge of some sort. Whoa! Personalized nose picker. Wow, okay. You never know the gifts they're going to give you in these packages. I'm sure we need that for something. Okay, let's set that aside. Oh boy, are you ready? You want to see it? Look at this, look at this. There it is. Ha! Ah, you want to watch? You want to watch? <laughs> this is it. Yeah, look at that baby. A nice stretchy TPU kind of band. Tiny little thing. Good thing it's longer than wide. That must be interesting on a woman's arm or a child's, huh? I know you're wanting to know if this thing can pop out of that thing. Ah. Yeah. And it can. This is just a shell. A shell that you can use it on your arm, but the device itself is a tiny little pocket phone that doubles as a watch. Yes! Sweet, huh? A little speaker it looks like like a regular um well maybe that's i don't know oh yeah that's what you hold up to your ear if you're going to use it as a phone i bet there's a camera on the back i keep pushing over there that's what this is for you stick that in there to uh pop open the sim card tray no doubt couple of buttons and a charging port with a microphone interesting in addition We've got the little charging port with the standard USB connection so you could charge it right from your phone charger if you wanted to. What are we looking at? Well, we always know Banggood's got the craziest, funnest, oddest, most uh, enjoyable wearable technology. They gave us the first ECG e plus PPG heart rate, heart wave monitoring kind of bands and watches and now We've got this removable Beike i5S. It's a 2.2 inch pedometer TF card uh, camera smartwatch phone thing. Yes, indeed. And what about the specs? Let's take a look. Oh, by the way, check the buying link uh, in the show notes uh, to pick one of these up. I know you're going to want to. Comes in gold, silver, and black. Tiny bit of memory. Uh, this is important to note, it's 2G calls. It's not set up for the 3G or 4G network. You're going to have to have a 2G SIM to use it as a phone. Bluetooth and so forth. Got a speaker, camera. It doesn't say how big the camera is. It's overall size. And it supports the standard type of things. Got an exercise plan. Hmm, a driving record. Okay. Remote control function. Ah, good. The raise hand to bright and up to 2D, 2D third, 2D third gigabytes of TF card expansion with a 500 milliamp hour battery. Yeah, that's all there is inside the box, but we did get this little manual. So let's look at it. Wow, tiny, tiny print. Okay, it's got a glaring QR code for the APK down link uh, for the tethering app, which don't know what that is yet. Here's the specs. And we get into this smartwatch instructional manual. Now, as usual, when they get this tiny, even looking through the camera here, it's uh, so small I really can't make it out. But I have tested it that after I record it, and upload it, it's easily readable on a computer screen and I'm sure on a TV. So if you're on your phone and having a challenge, I empathize with you. If you're on your TV, well, hopefully you can read all of this stuff. And in case I skip something in the review that you're seeing here, well, you've seen it here and then you'll know about it and you can try it. Okay. Only an English manual with this, you notice. 
Five common troubleshootings? Okay, probably mostly Bluetooth related. And that's it. Okay, we are... <laughs> we're ready, I guess, with this mobile watch. Oh, where'd it go? <laughs> wow, where did it go? There it is. Uh, yeah, I'll charge it up and we'll turn it on. We're all charged up and... Inside of here, I've already used a little nose picker to put in something. Let's pop this out. There we go. And I think I have to turn it this way. Yes. Okay, there. So this little tray holds both the SIM card and the micro SD card in place. And I don't know if they'll fall out, but they uh, will connect up with the innards of the device right through here. And there we go. Because uh, it doesn't work on 4G or 3G, it's only 2G. And uh, we're not gonna play with the, the memory card, but just to let you know, that's how you do it. Easy is one, two, three. All right, there's a button on the top. I'm gonna press and hold and on we go. A Little bit of a dark background. And here it comes. Sports watch. Firing up with this time and this background. Pay attention to that because it's going to change as soon as I touch it. Goes into the app drawer, which are all of your apps in, a, in six to a page. One, two, three, four, five, six pages. And it doesn't repeat. And when you come out of this, um, come back here, where at this time, or, and I don't know how to do it, I, I was getting it into a different time earlier, different watch face, press and hold, no, <laughs> oh, this is so weird, all right, maybe we'll get there in a minute, because there's a whole bunch of really cool watch faces to show you, this is kind of the generic one you'd, you'd have when it's off, should have that twist to see time, on here. There it goes. Okay. Let's let's run through the apps. You can slide, you can touch, whatever you do, you're gonna get in here. We've got a dialer, a phone book, call logs, and messaging. All has to do with the SIM card. Now this part has been completely re-recorded from the original because something interesting popped up out of this phone. I just mentioned the dialer phone book, call logs, and messaging were all related to the SIM card. And in a sense, that's correct, because if you go in here and you put in a phone number and you try to dial it, it comes back and it says error. If you go into the phone book, aha, look at this. You have local and you have Bluetooth. Local is whatever phone book you have here, and Bluetooth is a download from your phone if you pair it directly to the phone. Not with the app, but just pair it directly like you would uh, headphones. Same thing for your call logs. You've got regular ones and you got your Bluetooth ones. Now, um, in messaging too, I mentioned in here that when you put in the number, you saw that it had an error. I'm gonna take a moment now and turn on Bluetooth on my phone. Now I'm connected to Bluetooth on the phone. When I go into my dialer and I give it another try, with it connected, watch. Now I get the choices, local call, or there's my tethered phone, LG G3. If I select that one, it's gonna attempt to place the call through my phone. You can hear the phone over there telling me it's the wrong number. So we have full tethered capability for placing phone calls either directly from the keypad or from the phone book, from the Bluetooth download of your contacts from the phone, or from the local contacts if you have a SIM card inside the device. Meaning, this is a dual mode phone. Okay, so you've got both capabilities even though it's only 2G for the SIM card. Full tethering capability to your phone for calling. I'm placing a call right now, and with any luck, phone will ring and here it comes now it's a little confusing you're hearing sound from here and from the main phone but if I touch this hello hello, hello? can you hear me 
Let me put this in speaker. Now it's going to get feedback. Yes. Okay. So this really does do uh, Bluetooth calling. Here's uh, one of the watch faces that pops up when you, I guess, have it in its, its watch format. Let's bring that screen up again. Okay, there we go. Touch it, and we're back here. We've got a pedometer, which is your standard pedometer that you can go into walking, step count, or running, uh, apparently, and uh, tap to start, and it'll begin when you tap one of those. You've got a reminder. Now, this is a reminder for sedentariness. Look, it's sitting at the desk, and I can start it. I can come in here and adjust it. How long do you want it before it reminds you? So this is a looping timer for sedentary. Keep that in mind. Going to have a lot of things in mind here pretty soon. When you go here, you've got sleep monitoring. This is how well you slept last night if you wear this hunker to bed with you. Do you sleep with a nightie that has a pocket? Huh. There's no heart rate monitor on here, so you don't have to worry about having it on your wrist. Anyway, it's... Wow, is it... Uh, it it's counting. Hmm. So I guess it's going to count your time if you start it when you go to bed, and it'll tell you how well you slept. Different? Okay. Then you've got another timer for getting up and drinking water, which is different than your sedentary reminder. And this is minute by minute. I mean, look at this. If I want to drink water every half hour, I can come here and say, OK, and start it. And then I get an alarm in a half an hour, right? Since we're doing this review and we want to know what that's like, let's come down here. Wow, let's come down here to something reasonable. Looks like 10 minutes is the lowest we can go. I'm sure I'll talk for at least 10 minutes, right? Don't answer. OK. Drinking water. Here's the uh, QR code. Bah! I got news for you. Scan that. Go ahead. Do it. You can do that, you know, with your phone and, and then go in and, uh, and look for it. And you know what you're going to find? I'm just going to deviate from all of this to switch you over to the app. You're going to find it's going to want to download something called UWatch Android APK. When you attempt to install that puppy... It's going to try to install something called High Watch. When you go through all of the permissions and you say install, it's going to fail. App not installed. That I don't understand. That's the Android download of the High Watch app. And it's not in the Google Play Store. And I can't install it from the QR code. Meaning everything I'm about to show you in the apps related to uh, tethering, um, I cannot um, produce it for you. Hopefully that'll change, but I don't know. Um, anyway, that's coming up. Settings, a whole bunch of settings, your Bluetooth settings that you can power on and visibility to tether, of course, to your phone if you can. Uh, raise the LCD on, uh, that's what we just showed you. So when you twist your wrist, you'll see the time. Here's the clocks you have all these different styles, and this is where you can see them. Also, if you press and hold, you can see them. You can uh, allow it to sync time from your phone if you're tethered, if it works. Otherwise, you can turn that off and set your time and 12 or 24 hour format directly from, uh, from the settings in here. You've got overall sound with alert types that are ring only or mute. That's how you mute the whole device, and you can set which ring tone and notification tone you'd like to have. You also have under volume the ability to change the loudness up to seven different levels and it sounds like this. Oh, it's not making any noise other than a car outside. Okay. Notification. There we go. Notifications makes a little noise. Not very loud at all at its loudest. I'm going to turn it down. Wow, it doesn't even seem to be changing. Anyway, I have noticed that the speaker, which is right here, is not that loud. And you know probably why. It's meant to be held to your ear like a phone. 
it's not a standard built-in uh, speaker phone. So it's, I guess, optimized as uh, something you put to your ear. And therefore, it's not all that loud. Okay, we're here. That was volume. Then you've got your display where uh, you have some main menu rotate things so you can look at your apps differently. You have uh, brightness levels that range from this low, which is moderate, all the way up to this bright, which is fairly decent. I'm doing this, I think, at about three, maybe two. Let's try two brightness for the review. Uh, screen timeout will run from five seconds to 60 seconds. I've got it at its max so that we can continue with the review. Uh, wallpaper images. This is interesting. You remember the time we just looked at that had a wallpaper on it? It was a static wallpaper and it looked like that. Well, this is where it came from. And you have other images that you can play with. Just to show you, and the time floats across the top. It's that one fixed time display. This is a lot like what your wallpaper would look like on a phone when you just have that screen that when you turn it on before you unlock it or swipe it. That's the wallpaper we're looking at here. Let's uh, take this one for a change. And that's done. So that happened. Then you have an on, uh, you know, a, a uh, power on display animation that looks like that. I mean, it's just like this gets ridiculous. Eh, I don't know. This doesn't say anything on that one. Oh, we're going back into the same pictures, it looks like. But there's animations that you can choose for both your power on and your power off as well, which only lasts for a few seconds, so kind of a waste. That's display. International, you can sync automatically when you tether to your phone to the language, or when it's off, you can go through and uh, pick your language which we'll scroll briefly through so you can see which languages are supported here. You know, rather than having this as a phone, uh, it might be something fun to have as a little pocket YouTube player. Well, not really because you can't get data on it either. The best you could do is 2G data. There's no Wi-Fi on this watch and 2G data is ridiculous and you'd need a 2G SIM network to do it on. So I don't know what you'll use this for. Like I said, it may not be for anybody. I'm everybody. Um, their English is done and how it displays names for your contacts. Reset and about. This is what the device is. There's its address information, contact version, and release time and date. So it's a January of 2018. Fairly new. That's settings. Bluetooth connection where you search for your device and you do the tethering dance back and forth with the phone. Then you get into all your social media things like QQ, which I guess is like WeChat for China, which I guess is like WhatsApp for the rest of the world, which I guess is like Facebook, which is, well, you know what Facebook is like. Imagine that you can put your entire data about your whole life through a tiny little thing like this and have totally exploited to all the advertisers in the world. Really sad what Facebook has done, um, but that's a personal opinion. Bluetooth not connected, but if it were, this is where you would have a remote, um, looks like camera, I believe. Here's Twitter. Here's a little sound recorder. I'll do a little dance on this one. Memory card removed. Use phone. Okay, yeah. There's a tiny amount of memory that you can use in the phone. Yes. Yes. You know, I'm going to take it and put it right at my mouth like I were actually lecturing because I know already this is not going to sound very loud. Now I'm going to stop that. And I'm going to play it back. Yes. Yes. You know, I'm going to take it and put it right at my mouth like I were actually lecturing because I know already this is not going to sound very loud. Could you hear that? That's with me kind of screaming at the microphone. It's good and loud coming out of here if you put it up to your ear. It's just like talking to a phone without putting it in speakerphone mode. It's just about that uh, loudness. But it has a sound recorder, Bluetooth uh, music, uh, remote camera, find my phone. Those are all related to being tethered to that app that doesn't work. 
Alarms are your overall um, regular alarms that you could add here. You have a real stopwatch that you can start. And you, it's a tenth of a second one with split times available. And the good news is it will run in the background. So if we leave this, we'll check that in a second. You've got a calendar that shows you a big day of the month and month of the year. And the stopwatch is still running. So that's awesome. And that's that page. Then you got your basic calculator that'll do numbers and has decimals and lots of digits and works just fine. Um, the camera, we'll come back to that in a second with images. The uh, audio for installed music that you put on your micro SD card is here. File manager, where you can see what's inside the tiny memory, 394K for storing your voice notes, an occasional picture, stuff like that, if you don't have the card in there. And it'll also show the card when it's there. Then you've got video recorder and video player tied to the camera. And then you can put the uh, camera in, it looks like, this technology for um, a car cam. So when I go like this, I got my finger over it, there we go, I get an image and that's the car cam. And if you got the SIM card in there, yeah, it's not enough memory at all. A micro SD. If you got a micro SD card in there, then you could do uh, that regular car cam thing or whatever you want to take looping videos of. That's my guess from looking at the icon. You saw the manual. Hopefully there's something in there. If I go into video recorder now, this is just a plain video recorder. And again, not enough memory, but um, with the right memory, you could do that. And then the camera. And the camera image now is full screen. Look at that. That's kind of cool. And when we take that picture, it makes a little noise. Saves it if you have enough memory, which we don't. And... Um, you could take a look at it. It's really low resolution, 240 by 360 or something. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a tiny camera. It's not even two megapixels, probably 0.3. Um, but that's what you got with this thing. And it's something you can play with, I guess. You notice every time I move it, like I'm twisting my arm, it's kind of falling out of there. Okay, image viewer, audio player, file manager, video, video, that thing. And then we got this. Z-M-A-E-E -E something or other. And then we got a browser. And of course, the browser is going to require internet. And to get internet, you got to have Wi-Fi and you don't have it. Or you got to have 3G and you don't have it. So I don't know how you're going to use the browser. <sighs> I'll talk a few seconds. So this thing, you ever see this? Broadcasting, a menu broadcast, SMS, num key broadcast. No idea. I tried to mess with this a little bit, and I can't figure out what the heck it's about. Time broadcast, switch settings, time quantum setting, whole mode, day mode, night mode, custom mode. Something worth playing with. I'm not going to spend time on it because it's really, really odd and complex. But that's the last of all of the installed apps that we have here. I have Bluetooth on and I have it tethered to the phone in a quasi sense of just being tethered, not to the app. And I'm not doing anything like uh, being able to make phone calls or get text messages or push notifications or anything. So the, the watch faces, thank goodness it came back because at least maybe I could show you something you might want to have it on your arm for. And that's the watch faces. Let's go back to the very beginning. There is no beginning, it loops. <laughs> All right, here you go. Let's start with the earth, the earth. Uh, gotta say okay, and that gives you this kind of a display in 12 or 24 hour time. And it's not set right now, so it's just looping. You've got that one. Uh, these are stock watch faces, which are different than the ones that we had at the beginning, remember, that um, uses the wallpaper as the background, sort of like the lock screen. But um, on a, a normal day, the watch faces would be selected from here. 
by this. This one I thought was fun. That's kind of a cute one. So let's show it to you on, before we go any more into this, you get a feel for how sexy this looks. Not my arm, mind you, but the watch on it. Uh, come on, in you go. Okay, there's you go, best we got. It's a, a bulky watch. The on button now is up here to get to it. And you got that nice screen. What you can do, here's what you can do. You can take your micro SD card, right? You can put some movies on there or some music. And you can wear this around and use it as a watch and play back any of the stuff you want to that's on your card. That's a perfect use for it, considering we really don't have much else that we can do with it. Um, there, there's the other watch face. Okay, I think we've beat this one enough. <laughs> Let's review that you could get this from Banggood. It's um, definitely something new and different, and it's available right now. Check the show notes for a buying discount if we've got one, then the link that'll take you right to this page. And hopefully you can have some fun with it. I wouldn't call it a primary watch, but it could just be a nice little thing to take a movie on the road with, give the little kids something in the back seat to play with, whatever. As long as the battery lasts, and we hope that will happen. Uh, no idea on the battery, but it looks like it's a pretty good size one, so it's got that going for it. Okay, you've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. Thanks for your subscription. Got more Odd, unusual, wonderful goodies coming up. We'll see you again soon. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, there's that 10 minute alarm to drink water. Can you hear it? Got a cute little song to it.